I believe that we are all connected to every living thing. This means that on some level we can not only relate to, but can also learn from every living creature. And by observing their behavior, we can learn a lot from animals. Curiosity killed the cat is a proverb used to warn of the dangers of unnecessary investigation or experimentation. A cat's curious nature, combined with their patience, confidence, and a good sense of timing, reminds us to have patience and wait for the right time to act when exploring the unknown. The earliest reference to this proverb was first echoed by British playwright Ben Jonson in his 1598 play, Every Man in His Humor. The famous quote is said to be a spin-off of Care Killed the Cat. The word care was referring to worry or sorrow, which does make a little more sense. But curiosity? Well, if you're a cat and you have nine lives to risk, then satisfaction just might bring you back. Hello, my name is Denise Wilson, and I chose to present on the proverb, Curiosity Killed the Cat. This proverb really resonated with me because I believe that we're all connected to every living thing. That means that on some level, we can not only relate to, but we're also able to learn from every living creature. We can learn a lot from animals simply by observing their behavior. Proverbs are usually metaphorical examples used to describe a basic rule of conduct. The proverb, Curiosity Killed the Cat, uses the traits of a cat, in this case their curious nature, to warn us of the dangers of unnecessary investigation or experimentation. In other words, if you stick your nose in where it doesn't belong, like a dryer, you might just end up regretting it. The earliest known reference to this proverb was first mentioned by British playwright Ben Jonson in his 1598 play, Every Man in His Humor. The famous quote is said to be a spin-off of Care Killed the Cat. The word care was referring to worry or sorrow, which when you think about it, that makes a little bit more sense. Worrying, after all, will get you nowhere. So now, let's take this to a deeper level. When you consider a cat's curious nature, combine it with their patience, confidence, and a good sense of timing, then it's the cat that reminds us to have patience and wait for the right time to act when exploring the unknown. And remember, if you're a cat and you have nine lives to risk, well, then maybe there isn't so much to worry about. Satisfaction, after all, might just bring you back. Hello. Welcome. That's interesting. Thank you. I've heard that so many times and I never really thought about how it might have originated. You know, it's very interesting that you would say that. Proverbs are so connected to everyday experiences that sometimes we don't stop and consider their origins. You know, what I found interesting to see was how certain metaphors can manifest into a commonly used proverb. That's what in part at least gravitated me to the subject matter. Proverbs reinforce the idea of just how interconnected so many things in our lives are. This includes animals. I mean, consider the origins of the proverb. Initially, the wording described the futility of worrying. And after some likely consideration, the author realized that curiosity was a much more suitable choice of words when used in relationship to a cat's personality. At least it worked better for his play. 
We know that cats are very curious creatures, and yet we can also see the benefit of understanding how a cat's personality as a whole can be of benefit. By observing the behavior of a cat, we can see how their heightened sense of patience and timing can make all the difference when hunting their prey. It's actually quite a divisive survival trait when you think about it. And then, of course, we do concede that the cat's inquisitive nature is ever-present. And yet, somehow, it seems that they are able to land on their feet and get through most situations. This would explain the later addition to the proverb, but satisfaction brought him back.